you can put a smuggler out of business, it's less money going into the pockets of cartels. It's less money going into the pockets of those that prey on human beings. Most people know about the issues along our U.S. southern border, but so far this year, the Grand Fork sector of U.S. Border Patrol says they've seen a 250% increase in illegal border crossing apprehensions along their stretch of the northern border. Valley News Team's Kirsty Maday visited the Grand Forks Border Patrol headquarters today to learn how they're preparing for winter, potentially even larger numbers of migrants. As the weather turns colder, Grand Forks sector of U.S. Border Patrol is highlighting the dangers of crossing the border outside of authorized ports of entry. At the beginning of winter, before the snow comes, that we can put the message out that it is incredibly dangerous to cross the border. Um, and we certainly encourage people not to do that. Last April, nine people were rescued after being trapped in a bog during cold weather while trying to cross the border near Salo, Minnesota. Our primary mission is law enforcement, but our first priority is life. Richard Basecki was the second person on the scene where he provided emergency care to those suffering from hypothermia and frostbite. We expect to make use of our medical resources more extensively in the coming years. So why is there such a large increase of illegal border crossings happening between the U.S. and Canada? People can come into Canada without uh, having a, a visa to, to enter the country. People can enter here under false pretenses, uh, indicating that they have a goal in mind, whether it's uh, being a visitor to the country or visiting a friend, with the intent to jump across the border and enter the U.S. illegally. Border Patrol officials say the pandemic likely caused lower immigration numbers, but numbers are now ramping back up. Unscrupulous smugglers that are enticing people to come up to Canada, they say, we have jobs for you in Canada, come up to Canada. They get to Canada, then they say, oh, but the job's in the United States. And so then they try and smuggle them back down into the U.S. Border Patrol agents say they've heard from the apprehended migrants that they pay anywhere from $5,000 to $30,000, depending on their country of origin and economic means. In Grand Forks, Kirsty Midday, Valley News Live. Now, the increase in arrest doesn't necessarily mean that there are more people coming across the border. Officials say they've increased the number of patrols on the northern border, meaning fewer people may be making it across undetected.